G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Little present for me arrived in the mail uh, a little while ago. No, it's not a, uh, a little cheap tool from Bunnings or anything like that. It is a Teslong Borescope. Now these are an interesting little, uh, interesting little bit of kit. Uh, I've never used one personally, I've only ever seen them used once or twice. But I think it'll, uh, I think it'd be a good little bit of kit to have. You can have a really good look down, uh, down your rifle barrels, have a look at your rifling, condition of your bore, etc., 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 and might just solve a few little problems for you down the track. So, as I say, I've never used one, um, never owned one, obviously. So uh, I'm going to do a little, uh, look, as much as I hate to say it, an unboxing video. Very, I'll make that bit very quick. We'll have a look what's inside. We might even have a crack at using it. So this should be a really interesting, interesting little learning curve. So. Uh, We'll see how we go, so uh, stick around and uh, we want to learn something. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. First thing you'll notice with these is this nice little hard uh, hard plastic case they come in. That, um, it pack that's how it turns up in the mail, all packaged up really nicely, really securely. Um, it's not going to get damaged at all. This I got this one from Benchrest Tactical. They're, like, they're a mail order crowd. They're located in uh, down Logan somewhere in Queensland. Um, all mail order, as I said, uh, they're worth they're worth they got a lot of good interesting stuff. I got this delivered to my door for two hundred and forty four dollars, which included postal insurance. Oh, I didn't think that was bad freight. That's not bad freight at all. So we'll have a see. We can have a look what's inside. So we'll go to the um, go to the uh, clips undone, and here's what we get. Da da da. -da. First thing you notice is the little this is a little screen that everything hooks up to and that's about the size of an iphone 11. it's probably the best maybe a little bit a little bit bigger i'll try and get that central there there it is that's all the connect commands and everything on it and um we'll have a look at that uh, once we look at the destructions assuming there are some here are our little mirrors we've got five different mirrors there as it says on the front there i'll try and make, bring that into focus a b c d everything from 22 caliber up to 40 caliber. Um, it says in the in the ad blurb that you can get this thing down to 20 caliber, like a 204 or something like that. Uh, we'll see how we go. That remains to be seen. So uh, here we go. There's your adapter, which will go between your screen and hook up to your um, uh, hook up to your camera thing, which is this fella here, and your camera that that hooks up to there. That hooks up to that, like that, that locks on there, and that's your camera end there, and that's him there. That's got six little LEDs there, and that's nice and bright, and you hook them up to your mirrors, but we'll do that later. You've got, um, obviously, this charger cord, this standard old mobile phone type charger, one of the big old fat ones by the looks of it, so. And, you, and with this, you get two... Uh, you get a longer and a shorter uh, adapter cord, so you can uh, you can go different ways with that. I think that, that I think that one's for a PC actually, so that'll that'll plug into both. Or looks like it's a multi plug, so we'll we'll work out how that all how that all works. And you get some you get some uh, some destructions, which oh, how, how sensational is this? It's in English. You beauty. I'll actually be able to read that. So um, before I do anything, I'm going to get down. I'm going to get all this out and have a bit of a read of it and see what I'm actually uh, see what I'm actually dealing with. And uh, have a look at that packaging. That packaging's nice, and you just that's all a good storage box and everything. So I think we're on a winner here. So I'll pull this. I'll have a uh, have a bit of a read of it and see how we go. Okay, we've had a bit of a uh, read of our instructions. Not uh, not overly difficult, so we should be able to work this one out. Um, a little screen set up. You can actually record record vision on this, take photos of vision on this, um, even overlay your own voice over your little uh, recordings, and it's all um, it's all can be recorded on. There it is. Where is he? There it is. Little thirty-two gig SD card. It supports that, and that is provided. That's already in there, so. So there we go. So that's always a good thing. Uh, one trap for young players. This thing had a nice protective cover on it that you've got to peel off. So there we go. Um, that's our uh, our uh, adapter from our from our uh, camera probe to our uh, our machine. A normal C-type charger, and this fatter type cable here 
that's uh, that's to run the same uh, to run through your cameras through a PC or a laptop or something like that. So so that's why you've got two of those. You got your uh, your camera probe cord. Got to be careful of those because they're like a fibre optic cord or some some such thing like that. Don't bend them and twist them up too much. A um, few little knickknacks, a couple of spare screws for the screen in case one or two ever fall out. And um, you got and you can even make, you've got a thing like a little stand. You can put it up like a like a picture frame. Destructions and our little mirrors. So uh, I'm going to put this together and see if I'm going to have a uh, have a play with it. All right, I've got this little beastie wired up here. Got them all. Oh, what? There's a little LED. Now I'm going to run this through first, uh, with no mirror on it. Just we'll have a look at all the rifling, and this is going into my uh, 300 Win Mag Project rifle. This is supposed to have a flogged out barrel and all that. Well, there's there's the throat. That looks all right. That doesn't look too bad. Bit of shit in there from the mops and all that because I've given a good clean it. Now here we go. As you go down the uh, rifling, you can just see. Just so I'm enlarge that just a little bit. There we go. Bit of shit from the mop. A bit of rust there. A bit of rust on the barrel. This this barrel is supposed to be all flogged out and shot out. And uh, I, I don't think that's the case at all. I think it's just a bit of. Bit of rust and shit in the barrel. I've given it one good clean, but I'll look at that and say it needs a bit more. So we'll just give that a few more vigorous cleans with the, uh, the wire brush. A little bit of shit in there from the mop, and I ran through it. That rifle looks all right. There's a, a real pitting in there. That's just little bits of surface rust. Need a little bit more. And we're going to take us right up to the end. Right there he goes, and out through the muzzle. That rifling, that rifling doesn't look too bad. That's okay. All right, now we'll put a mirror on that. Um, we'll just get him on, screw him on there like that. Come on. Oh, everything is so fiddly with these things. So, so fiddly. There we go. You don't want to, and all the threads are fine. You don't want to cross thread things and wreck your thread. So you just got to take your time. Got the omelet ready, Uncle. In the hole we go. Now we've got our little mirror. Oh, we can get a nice good look at some of this rifling. That's just rust. A little bit of surface rust on the uh, that rifling's got no major dramas in it that I can see. So uh, that's that. Oh, there's a bit more. There, are we? there he is. That's just a little. A little bit of surface rust in it. That's, that's not going to make a rifle. There's worse bores around than that that shoot real well. That 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 bore's not shot to pieces by any stretch of the imagination. I bought this as a shot out rifle. But cosmetically the thing looked almost brand new. The bolt's got no markings on it. No nothing. So that's all up here. There we go. And I think we're at the end there now. And that was that. So we'll uh, put this stuff away and we'll sign her off. Rightio. Teslong Borescope. Done and dusted. That is the first time I've ever used a Borescope myself. And that was really, really simple to operate. Uh, once you get it all set up, and uh, the instructions are pretty easy to follow. Um, once you get it all set up, it's quite simple to use. Really not that, not that much harder to use than the, uh, than the camera. The camera or camera phone, whatever you want to call them. So, Pretty easy to operate. I'll work out how to do all the uh, recording and downloading of the SD cards and, and all that sort of business. That's for that's for another time down the track. It works a treat. It works really well. And um, you buy them, they're priced quite well, packaged quite nicely. And I ordered that, I ordered that on a Friday, on a Friday morning, and it turned up on a turned up on a Tuesday. So Postage time was fine, postage was reasonable, price is reasonable, well packaged. 
and a really nice looking product that works. So really, really nothing wrong with it. A good bit of kit, are they, are they essential uh, to the everyday person? Maybe not. Um, what they will do is they'll give you, if you say your rifle starts to shoot, starts to shoot a bit funny, a bit off, something like that, you can have a good look up the bore with these things, see if there's anything happening in your bore, whether you've got a pitch in your bore, you have something, whatever's happened in your bore, who knows? And it'll let you know straight away if you're cleaning regimes up to scratch. And that's, that's one thing it will do. And, uh, and as, as you saw by the video, it picked up little bits of hair left behind on the mops and all that sort of thing, it picks them up like logs on the road. So that's uh, no issue there whatsoever. So I'm gonna put this one to bed. Um, if you wanna get yourself one of these, by all means, Bentress Tactical, down at Logan, mail order, takes, it, it will be at your house within a week, no problems at all. And uh, they have got them in stock. So you can buy different configurations of one, ones that run in PCs, uh, you get ones with a rigid rod in them, it, it's entirely up to yourself. There's long ones for rifles, short ones for pistols, etc., etc. So uh, until next time, please give that video a like if you enjoyed it. I do hope you got something out of it. I know I sure did. And I um, hope we all learned something. And um, give it a like if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. But that would also be really good. And um, I hope to see you next time. I'm two picks up. So as I uh, always say, you can tell your wife, you can tell your girlfriend. If you have a lot of fun with the borescope, you can tell them both. All up to you. Go two clicks up. Ta-da.